On the first day of the year 1995, three countries were added to the list of the members of the European Union. Austria, Finland and Sweden. It's what we call the first enlargement wave. In the aftermath of the Cold War and at the outset of Internet, the EU has to face changes brought about by globalization. In this video, we'll see what are these changes and the response from the EU. First of all, Austria, Finland and Sweden were three member states of the EFTA, the European Free Trade Association, which means they had more ease trading with the other members, namely Norway, Switzerland and Iceland. However, they experienced difficulty trading with the EU after the creation of the European single market. To avoid the companies offshoring, they joined the Union. In the early 90s, Internet entered a new era as the World Wide Web, aka the web, is now accessible to the public. This new information and communication technology, or NICT, is a revolution in everyday life. But this technology also brings about problems. One of them is cybercrime. Indeed, European countries start worrying about their security. So, on the 23rd November 2001, the European Council writes the Convention on Cybercrime in Budapest. It is the first international agreement dealing with things such as copyrights or hateful discourses on Internet. Some countries also passed laws on their own, like in France with the Everyday Life Security Law, eight days before the Convention. On the 23rd and 24th March 2000, the European Council adopted the Lisbon Strategy. The goal of the Lisbon Strategy, also called Lisbon Agenda or Process, was to make Europe, by 2010, the most competitive and dynamic knowledge-based economy in the world, capable of sustainable economic growth with more and better jobs and greater social cohesion. In other words, the strategy promotes sustainable development. Indeed, its purposes are to improve the life of the inhabitants within Europe by giving them better opportunities and strengthening solidarity and their sense of belonging. To encourage innovation, to help economic growth and environment-friendly policies along, in order to answer the low productivity. Unfortunately, the Lisbon agenda was a disappointment after just a few years and never really achieved its goals. 